But, so again, the first hint that I gave you guys to do was to um, what the LCD was not. Uh, Nick, this is going to be your last warning, and then other next time I will. When I start talking, I will uh, take away take away one. Um, so. Uh, first thing you want to do is look into factoring. Anytime you guys see a trinomial or a binomial that looks like it can be factored, look into factoring, see what can happen. And so if I was going to factor this, again, by going through my diet, 5 and 6, I say, what two numbers multiply to give me 5, add to give me 6, 5 and 1. So I'm just going to rewrite this. I'm going to save a little space and time. And I'm just going to rewrite this as the factored form. Yeah. x plus 5 times x plus 1. So what I want you guys to understand here is just like I talked about last time, the common denominator of 9 and 2 is 18. But the common denominator of 3 is not 27. The common denominator of 9 and 3 is 9, right? So if we're looking at the common denominator here, the second hint I said was the common denominator is not this times this. Because what do they already share? X plus 5. They already share an x plus 5. So to make them the common denominator, they just they already share an x plus 5, but now they'll also have to share an x plus 1. So the LCD is x plus 1 times x plus 5. So okay. we have to make it that? That is going to be your least common denominator. I mean, you could do it this times this, but that's going to make your expression a lot more difficult than it needs to be. So that's why you always want to use the least common denominator. So you guys notice. What's nice about using this as the LCD? This is already the LCD. The only thing I need to do now is get this to be my LCD. So therefore, I'll need to multiply it by x plus 1. Look at Look at This is already your LCD. So you don't need to do anything to it. Do you see that? In this case, this is the LCD, so I don't need to do anything to it. So now I multiply um, my other side here. So I have x over x plus 5 times x plus 1 minus 2. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, make sure, guys, another thing to remember is 5 minus 4 can be written as 5 plus negative 4. Does everybody agree with me? Yeah. So therefore, I'm going to want to change my subtraction problem into an addition problem. That just helps out. Yes, Abby. How do you multiply by x plus 1? Huh? How do you multiply by x plus 1? Why or how? You do the opposite side. It's the same. What did you, the yeah. you say? Why or how? Yeah. I mean, why? The reason why we multiply by x plus 1 is because we're trying to get the LCD, which is x plus 1, x plus 5. So the only thing I need to do to x plus 5 to make it look like x plus 1, x plus 5 is to multiply it by x plus 1. Oh. Whatever I do in the denominator, I have to do in the numerator. So that's why I multiply it. Because you cannot add fractions if they don't have the same denominators. The same thing. 1 third plus 2 thirds is just equal to 3 thirds. However, 1 third plus 1 fifth <laughs> You cannot add that up. You have to get common denominators. OK? Yeah. So when you do, you have, you have the 2 times x plus 1. You multiply them, you multiply both of them to get the LCD. How do you come up with negative 2x? How do you add up with 2x? You flip the same. So it's minus. You Again. And you can make it a plus and negative. That's not what? what I okay. So Someone else asked the question, though. Subtraction is the same as addition to a negative. Yes? So how do you get the 2x? So where's you have to apply distributive property. Said that plus a negative. I didn't get to that point yet. I'm still part of this part of my teaching. So negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2. All over x plus 5 times x plus 1. You have to multiply this times both of the terms. <laughs> Distributive property, right? So Whatever's outside the parentheses, you have to multiply to both those terms. Now we have two fractions with exactly the same denominators, so I can just combine the numerators. 
So what I have here is x minus 2x, which is just negative x, and then minus 2, all over x plus 5 times x plus 1. You can multiply them together. I'm going to leave the answer like that, though. Wait, why do you have to 